Hey, what's going on people? So welcome to this video. This video is essentially an experiment to see if you can cloak your cell phone to make it like invisible or like make it vanish. Uh, the whole idea of doing this is based on the movie I saw behind me, uh, Zombieland uh, Double Tap. This is the trailer for it. Uh, a great movie, a lot of fun. Woody Harrelson, Emma Stone, Jesse Eisenberg, great movie. Definitely recommend it if you want a good laugh, which we need these days. So in the movie, they're being chased by zombies and uh, it turns out that they're tracking their cell phones. So I think it's Emma Stone comes up with the idea of sticking the cell phones inside of a chip bag uh, that's lined with some kind of foil. So, and that tends to, I guess that uh, blocks the signal so they can't be tracked or followed anymore. So I thought, you know, during this lockdown, let's, uh, let's do an experiment and try it and see if it works. So what I did is I went to Walmart and I bought some crispers and they were good. So it's lined with this uh, foil inside to keep it nice and fresh. So that'll be the first experiment. A second experiment would be with this bag, uh, organic coffee from Costco. And same thing too, it's lined with this foil. Uh, any bag will do, it should do, that's lined with foil. And these both have like the zip thing, like this, like a zip bag. You seal it and that way it gives a nice seal. And lastly, the third thing is this little thin piece of aluminum foil. And uh, this is from Costco. Uh, when you buy a hot dog, it's like a buck fifty, which is nothing. And uh, you get a beverage with it too, which is awesome. So they wrap up the hot dog in this aluminum foil and it keeps it nice and warm. I didn't feel like a hot dog at the time, so I just asked the lady nicely for a sheet of tin foil and she gave it to me. I just said it was for an experiment, which it is for. So this whole video is just an experiment. I don't condone anything illegal or nefarious or anything like that. Uh, take it with a grain of salt. Do not trust anything, your life or anything else with it. Just take it with a grain of salt. Um, a good use for this is, say you're sleeping at night, say you have a hard time sleeping like I do, um, it's nice to block your cell phone because in the past I've had these crazy alerts where it's super annoying sound and it just scares the crap out of you. It gives you anxiety. It just stresses you out, which we don't need this day and age. Um, I respect it a million percent. I understand why it's for, but uh, you know, sometimes you just want to like turn off the lights and leave them off kind of thing kind of disconnect from the world. Um, so you can wrap your phone up in this and you know it'll save you from those uh, messages. So another thing you can do with these foil lined bags is you can use it as a Faraday cage so it blocks any signal coming or going and um, I'm making reference to like key fobs like for your car. When I walk up to my car, as long as this is on me, I just walk up to the door handle, I pull it and it opens off automatically. It's a comfort access or something like that is called. But the problem is that there's hackers that can intercept the signal and they can hack it. They can just use it later, go up to your car, same as I do. They don't know, the car doesn't know the difference. I had a friend down the road who lives in a million dollar plus house. It doesn't look like a million, but this is Toronto, so it's ridiculous. But anyways, uh, her vehicle got broken into, but not in the typical sense. It was broken into in the electronic sense. Um, somebody had one of those scanners, they scanned her key fob and uh, they broke into her vehicle without undetectable. They just walked up to the vehicle, pulled the door open, or it was unlocked and voila, done, Bob's your uncle. So her vehicle was broken into. So since then she bought a Faraday cage like from Amazon, just like a little box or something, but you don't even need to do that. You can just use a bag like this if you want. You know, it's cheap. You're going to eat it, you're going to probably enjoy it anyway, so why not do it, right? And she doesn't even live in a high crime area, like it's just down the road for me. It's, I live in a pretty secure area, at least I like to think so. So uh, anyways, uh, that's the video. Here comes the experiment right now. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And uh, cheers, all the best. See you in the next video. All the best. Um, first of all, I'll show you this thing. It's an AMF, AM, or um, acoustic meter AM10. It's an EMF meter. Just for curiosity's sakes, just to see the signals coming and going out of these cell phones. So I'm going to use this daily driver. It is a iPhone 8 Plus. So we're going to call that uh, we're going to call that phone. I'll show you, it does work. Okay, so that's call number one. This thing can get a little annoying after a while, so I'm just going to shut it off and uh, maybe bring it back later. Okay, so what we're going to do is put the cell phone inside of this chip bag. Let's see if it blocks the EMFs or see if it blocks the signals coming and going. So we're going to stick that inside of there, seal it up. 
I got this from Walmart, it's like a couple bucks or so. I'm in Canada, so it's only a couple bucks Canadian, which is cheap. It's probably like a dollar or even less in the States because we uh, everything is expensive here. More expensive anyways. So we're going to call it again. So, uh, here we go. We're going to call it. So it looks like it does work. Straight to voicemail. You have reached. Okay, so that's good. This does work according to this little experiment. Hence the block signal coming and going. So that's the first uh, call I made. Let's just clear it so there's no uh, notifications. We're going to call it. Um, here we go. right away. Okay, so that's good. Next experiment is this is a organic coffee bean bag from Costco. 15 bucks Canadian, some aluminum lined inside. And I stick it inside this coffee bag. Seal it up. Nice and tight. Okay, so let's call it some non zombie dude. Straight to voicemail. So we'll take it out. And just to show you, there's no notifications, no missed calls, nothing like that. So, lastly, this is a little tiny thin piece of aluminum foil paper lined inside. Uh, we're going to stick this phone into here. It's an iPhone 12 Pro Max, if anybody wants to know. Wrap it up like a nice little chocolate bar. There, it's done. I'll just lay it flat there. Okay, let's try calling it. Uh oh. That's not good. It must not be sealed properly. Wow. Look at that. So it's important that it's sealed properly. Let's try it again. So there you go, missed call. It didn't block it. So let's try it again. We'll wrap it up tighter this time. Tight. I'm going to fold these ends in. Oh, let's wrap it like a, a Christmas gift. Okay, so it's wrapped like a Christmas gift, sort of. No tape. Let's just try that and see if that works. Okay, so let's call some non zombie dude. Here we go again. See, it worked. Let's try it again. You have reached. There, straight to voicemail. So it has to be wrapped tight, otherwise it will not work. So let's unwrap it. And uh, I'll show you again. Okay, so let's call it. Right away, see? So this did work. Free piece of uh, aluminum foil from uh, Costco. You can use a chip bag or you can use your 
and the aluminum foils, same thing at home. This will block it. So there you go. Uh, interesting experiment, and uh, thanks for watching. Take care and all the best. Cheers.